The Jefferson Parish School System and an attorney for two students suspended for briefly showing BB guns during virtual learning confirm both sides are now prepared to settle a federal lawsuit. The families had asked for their children's suspensions to be overturned and for their school discipline records to be cleared. The attorney for Kamari Harrison, a Harvey fourth grader, and Tommy Brown, a Grand Isle sixth grader, told WWL-TV the parties have reached a resolution in the matter pending the school board's approval at a hearing on July 7th. Uh, the, the end of this is, uh, is right around the corner, it seems like. JP school board member Billy North pushed for the school district to settle the lawsuit. He questioned the amount of money the district was spending to defend itself in court. Well, I just think it's important that we that we look at the money we spend and make sure it's going to the classroom. The lawsuit alleges violations of the students' rights and due process. The case prompted the state legislature to pass a new law requiring school systems to write policies specific to virtual instruction. It also expands students and families' rights to appeal school suspensions. The Harrison and Brown cases sparked intense public scrutiny of the Jefferson Parish school system. Billy Nor says it's time to move on. I think what's being missed in this story is the work we've done to keep our schools open. I mean, we're the largest uh, system in this in this state, number 97 in the country, and we haven't missed a day. I think that's the story, and I, and I think we've done a great job for our children. Terms of the settlement were not released. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And a state case on the matter is still pending in court.